Hey how's it going guys, Jake here. Today I'm down at the river located in Columbus, Georgia and if you guys are new to the channel, I often come down to the river with a pair of goggles, swim fins and even scuba gear in search of lost items rafters, kayakers and even fishermen may have lost while they're enjoying their day at the river. But something I've learned over the past couple years is that you never know what you're going to find while diving in the river and today was definitely one of those days man. I was caught completely off guard and today I want to share that experience with you guys. Throughout the day I did come across a few other nice things but nothing that really caught my eye until I found a Ziploc bag with something inside and as a treasure hunter I have to like investigate every single thing thrown into the river because you can come across some amazing stuff and you don't want to pass up anything so with that said I headed over to the bag I grabbed the bag brought it to the surface and right when I did that I realized really quickly what it could be and uh, it just caught me completely off guard man again this might be human remains again you might be saying to yourself right now like jake this is a far-fetched story like the chances of this being human ashes is very slim to none if you guys are new uh it's happened before and the reason why i think this is human remains is the fact that it looks very similar to the past human remains i found in the past if you guys are new i was actually scuba diving right at this very spot and i came across a black box and i opened it up and at first I thought it was cement, but when I flipped it over, it had a name and it was from a crematory and that's when I realized that I actually found human remains. handle that as professionally as possible we called the police because we had no idea what to do yeah, so put them back put them back yeah put them in back. the box in the box that's how he was so i sure however, however you found to put them back all right all right man i just want to make sure that was the right decision no i just didn't want someone else to find it but i guess i uh, got you if you could maybe i mean if you want to put them down there put a rock on top of them just to maybe we'll wash out but. today when i found uh the plastic bag uh my my first instinct was this is potentially human remains i pulled this bag out of the water it looked very very similar to what i found that very day it had that same milky texture and it's leaving that same stain on the concrete where i'm looking down right now and it just it looks like it has bone fragments and like fine um, material and like we don't have that type of sand here at the river and i'm very confident like that could very well be potentially human remains. You know, it's just pretty interesting because you have no idea what you're gonna find out here in the river and today I came across potentially human remains in a plastic bag. It's sad because this actually could be a human being but you know in the end this is probably where that person wanted to be. This is probably where the family put that person and uh, that's pretty cool you know that's special. I'm gonna treat this with the utmost respect as possible and I'm gonna handle this with care because this really could be a person in that bag and what I'm gonna do right now is put the bag exactly where I found it. I'm not gonna dump any ashes or anything like that. I'm just gonna put a rock on top of the bag so it doesn't float away. I think putting it underneath the rock is going to be the best decision to make here. If it was human remains, I'm treating it very respectfully. If it wasn't, I'm putting the bag underneath the rock so no other animals can get hurt, uh, you know, by the plastic bag. But I don't know, man. Like, it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's odd. Like, you never know what you're going to come across in the river. And today, it's just, uh, you know, it could have been one of those days where I really found something crazy. But I don't know. There's not a name on the bag. There's not a name on anything but it just looks very, very similar. This was just a crazy day, man. And there's two main reasons I want to share this story with you guys. Number one, it's just freaking crazy. You know, like it never happens. It's a rare occasion. 
And number two, I just wanted to show you guys, like in my opinion, what uh, what I think you guys should do if you come across something like this in the future. You should treat it with the utmost respect. Do uh, do as what you would do if it was your family member. At the end of the day, you guys got to look at the positive. You know, maybe this person wished to be at the spot that they were in. This river is beautiful. I owe the river everything. You know, I owe it my career, my lifestyle, my family. Also, without the river, I wouldn't have met you guys. You know, my incredible fans that have supported me throughout this entire crazy journey, man. So, you know, seriously, like. You gotta look at the positive and everything, and maybe this is just the final resting spot of that person, if it was a person. And uh, it's honestly uh, not that bad of a spot. It's beautiful.